Hello everyone, welcome back to episode 9 of We Happy Few. So last episode we managed to get into the Victoria Hill Memorial Camp, I think that was, that was the name, and turn off the power so Ollie could rob them. I realized while cutting the last video that I missed some documents. I guess I missed a lot because I was more... I wanted to go in and not be noticed instead of um, just running in and maybe then being able to explore everything. So I guess I missed a lot. But while cutting, I also realized that I missed... Um, in the canteen where we collected this memory. I think I missed a, a document that was lying on the floor. I just tried to, to get back in from the back door that we entered the last time, but right now, but it's jammed again, so we, the game doesn't allow us to go back in that way, and I don't really know how else it should work. Also, there is still, almost everyone is still there because we didn't kill a lot of people. So, now we're trespassing again. I'm just wondering, are there the guards from the last time that were asleep? Are they still sleeping? And where is he? Where is his chair? There's something floating in the air and I don't know what it is. I probably don't want to know either. So, but I don't know if we have lockpicks or not, but maybe we can yeah, we can. Let's go in there. We. Mm, I didn't want to do it the last time because I didn't want to spend my lockpicks. But now our next mission is to go back to Ollie. And there won't be any lockpicks necessary there. So I guess we. If we have the lockpicks left, then. Oh no, oh no. Oops. Ouch. <laughs> funny when you they, they didn't what okay I think I just found a bug because I was wondering they don't do an animation why can I go up there anymore what okay that must be a bug because I was just wondering why it, so they didn't do an animation for climbing ladders, but then I was I was falling through the hole and I don't think that should have been possible and now I'm not able to go back up. So I think I found a bug. Okay, so that was for nothing. So as far as I remember from what I that one's still asleep. Is there something else? Is there something in there? No, it doesn't look like it, so no, I'll just leave it. Is that guy asleep now too? Maybe. Could there be something so interesting in it that we should go inside there? There's another door, so maybe this is... Because this one... Oh, okay, so we don't have any lockpicks now anyway. Okay, this one's still asleep. I guess we could have entered maybe this complex through the store back there. Okay. But not now. Hmm. Is it that far night that there are those guards again or not? Oh, it's in the morning again. So I guess they went back. Oh, no, there's one. Oh, there's another one. Okay. Again, my theory gets debunked. Um, okay, so those flowers are still up. <sighs> They're so pretty. Okay. So... Hmm. I think I'm just gonna go for it. They shouldn't be able to see me from here. Okay, another loading screen. 
Hmm. I am never quite sure what to do because sometimes I can think of stuff that I could say for during long travels, but sometimes it's not. So it's possible that I might could probably come in the way I got out in the back of the station. Yeah, that's it, probably. So yeah, maybe sometimes I cut the longer paths out because I don't know. I just. I'm just thinking that I would maybe find it boring. What the? Wakey, wakey, everyone. It's another lovely day in Wellington Wells. Now, in case we have any visitors today, here are a few tips that will help you get along with everyone. And the most important one, of course, is don't forget to take your joy. And drink plenty of water, too. Fortunately, there's joy in the water. <laughs> and eat plenty of nutritious food. I'd be the first to recommend our local delicacy, seaweed. Mm. Of course, be very careful to stay away from diamonds. Fortunately, most of them live in a garden district that, well, no decent person goes there. It's full of dangerous maniacs. If someone's dressed in rags, tell them to go back where they belong and obey all official signs. Therefore, your safety and protection. Okay, so there are morning announcements here every day at 7 a.m., it seems. For visitors? I don't know if there are a lot of visitors here. Hmm. Okay, so we heard those two. And now it's time to ring the bell and see what Ollie has to tell us. Young Artie! Come on up! Okay, and where is up? How do I get up? Um... Oh wow, I just didn't pay attention to what this to what this announcement just said, but why is he laughing that evil? Oh, this door is open. This wasn't open before. Ooh, this is an elevator. Is there something else laying around here? No. Because we were wondering before when we could go in there, because we couldn't. So this is just the elevator to go up. This is cool. It's too bad we can't stay here, because Margaret doesn't want to us. Okay. Oh, this is a nice view. This is very cool. This is really nice. This is a nice hideout Ollie has here. I'm very jealous. Being at top of a house is far better than hiding in the tunnels like we have to. Oh, is this another? Oh, there's even one more elevator. Oh, I just w want to look around a bit more here. See if we can find something. Maybe some more documents that I miss. Or hopefully not. Okay, but there seems to be nothing here. I think this is so cool. Okay, there's even a um, crane. Ah, that's where we came in the first time. This is where, where Ollie was discussing with the, with the head boys. This is so nice. Ah. I love the I love the atmosphere of this game. It has a very nice atmosphere, although it doesn't. Kind of melancholic, but also I don't know. I think it's really. Yeah, Wellington Wells is pretty. It must have been even prettier. Especially the garden district when it wasn't this run down. Kind of a... This is now kind of a fallout vibe. This elevator also in this... I don't know. Oh, there's another door here. That's a fair bit of Christmas there, isn't it? Did you know the power switch was alarmed? They're all quite mad, you know. 
Sometimes I think they want the Germans to come back. Did you know the power switch was alarmed? It's a shame of it, you see. They want another go. You bloody knew. How would I have known that? For fuck's sake, Artie, times are hard, but you and I go back a ways. The tanks were hollow, Ollie. What's that? It's tank armor. The tanks, they're made of papier mache. We could have fought them if they didn't really have tanks. No, I wouldn't have given them Percy and we the others. Up. I wouldn't have had to lie my way off that train. Oh my god. I lied my way off that train. I wasn't too old to go. You don't forget a thing like that. Didn't you hear me? I convinced the Germans they had my birthday wrong. If it was only me, I'd just take my happy pills and sleep through the end of the world. But I promised. I promised Percy I'd keep him safe while we were in Germany. You promised to help me get to the bridge. <laughs> <laughs> the one in the parade? On Apple Home, how would you even get to it? You can't even go to Maidenholm. They shut that bridge down last week. No. You're right. You're always right. Ever seen one of these? What does it do? Have it the foggiest. <laughs> but supposing you took this to the bridge to Maidenholm, and supposing you told the bobbies you were there to fix the bridge works, it might uh, enhance your credibility. And from Maidenholm, I can get to Appleholm. And Appleholm has the only bridge out of Wellington Wells. See? <laughs> Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Well then, see you on the other side. I'd rather doubt that. <laughs> Adieu, Artie. Good luck. Oh, okay. So we did lie. I thought we didn't. I thought that we just... So at first it just sounded like Arthur seemed to remember this too. That we just corrected our birth date and that we were over 13. But it appears that we lied. And we lied so well that the Germans believed it. That they made a mistake in the birth date. Oh wow, okay, we have another diary entry. All he says he didn't know the tanks were fake, but how could he not? Who else knew, aside from those ridiculous home army lads in their antique battle dress? We could have fought the germs if the tanks were fake. All right, it would have been pointless and stupid and they'd have shot us all dead, but it would have felt so much than doing nothing, so much better than doing nothing. Well, I did do something, didn't I? I remembered the truth while I was talking to Ollie. I wasn't too old to get on the train. I lied to the Germans that I was too old and I convinced them. Question, how do you lie to yourself about your own birthday? Answer, because that way it wasn't your fault. Did that constable really believe my little invention about my birth certificate? Or did he decide it wasn't his duty to smoke out one lying kid? Why didn't I just go? I'm going to drive myself mad. Now I'm just going to find Percy and make things right. That part is true, absolutely true. All he says I can bluff my way past the bobbies at the bridge to Maidenholm. All I need is his crazy device. That sounds quite a bit cleverer than trying to sneak past large trained men with truncheons or fighting them. And from there on to Alpeholm and the Britannia Bridge. Okay, so invention. Does this mean he had some trick or something? He, he faked some ID or something like that? Or was it just like invention that he made it up in his mind? But I guess it. Maybe we'll find out later. Oh, wow! This is. I really like to. I really like it that the story um, unravels more and more the further you come. So it kind of it was. Um, yeah, on one point. At one point, we thought it sounded like to me, at least. I don't know if it was to everyone as well. It just sounded like he really corrected them because they had his birth date wrong but then now it sounds like Arthur made himself believe this as well and now he is kind of confronted with the truth again that they didn't make a mistake he just convinced them to and that he sent his brother off alone to Germany so he could stay and he stayed back here 
So we have our new quest here. Ooh, the story is really heavy stuff. <laughs> I'm really excited now how it's going to continue. Yeah, as far as I see it now, I mean, this is they're all this is all connected with some island like. And now we have to go here to the Salamanca Bridge. We haven't been in this area, so let's find out. Why is this labeled restaurant? Okay. Oh well. Oh, we have to hold it. Okay. Out we go. So, there shouldn't be guards here now, should they? Oh, okay, more berries. Those are always good. No, oh, okay, so the normal people are here again. The people like us. Hello, Nigella. Hello. <gasps> a telephone. Please listen to a personal message for our prudent friend. The fox has gone to bed. The fox has gone to bed. Are you what? 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 Okay, oh, sorry. I wasn't sure if he was going to talk to me, but I was just standing in his way. These phone calls are always to the prudent, to our prudent friend. Could this be prudence? I don't know if I said it before, but I'm gonna say it again. Is this prudence, maybe? Okay, so this was the restaurant, but can we go inside? No, doesn't look like it. And in here? Oh, I'm just passing. So I don't know. I don't really want to do these people any harm. Slouches towards the house. Because I don't know. Yeah, I think I said this before. I don't want them to be. I don't want. To, I don't want to hurt them. They're just like. Not They're even better off than us because we decided to not take joy anymore and they just, they couldn't. So, yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna go now and follow the objective because, yeah, we finished everything that we wanted to do here. Um, we're hungry as well in the meantime. Me. Or would they be terribly stern? Okay, I'm just gonna eat. Oh, uh. I kind of think that the shortcut um, system with um, two uh, with two s s s slot is um, for food and all. I think it's a g nice idea, but on the other hand, it's kind of unhandy because when you skip one accidentally just have to go through all of it again i would like it if there could be if you could assign something that you would like on your quick slot maybe even maybe some three items that you could skip through with the key with the different keys but i don't know all of it just seems a little bit too much oh wait i wanted to eat a fresh carrot before it rots so yeah Oh, I also saw that we have a lot of skill points. Yeah, we should spend our... Okay, 17 is really... 17 is really a lot, so... Um... Okay. I really want to invest in the, in the herbalist. Healing better is always good. Then you can carry more, and being overburdened slows you less. That is also really good. So if I spend eight now, I will have four left. What else could I? Okay, this is one. Hmm. I think I'm going to go with the with the unburdened first, and with the next skill point we acquire, I might invest more in in the health perk. But I think I'm going to go with this first. This is a good. This sounds like a good thing to me. What is the next of this? Big choke out taller enemies okay i think taller enemies 
I don't know if this is... If we haven't met those yet. I think we never had a problem with choking anyone, but this might be a problem later. So we never have... We've never been here in this... on this side. But... We're really close now. Oh. This is... okay. Do we have to go, do we have to go through one of those um, joy detectors once again now or to maiden home? Talk to your way past the bobbies. Oh, okay. Will we have a choice what to talk about or or is this just scripted? Okay. Okay, here goes nothing. Constable right. Lovely day for it. Unfortunately, the bridge is not open at this time. It was working just a minute ago, but the door is broken again. You'll have to wait until it's up again. Do you ever let anybody in? Oh, yes. There's someone in there now. And in the past month? Well, in the past month. Ah! Oh, there's a chap in there right now. You don't really want anyone back from the Garden District, do you? Hell, my wastrel friend. No one goes off their joy can actually take joy. I mean, would you? Everybody feels better if that door stays broken. You, us, everybody. Well, Constable Wright, I suppose now I can tell Central why the bridge keeps breaking down. Central? Ever seen one of these? Oh, bugger me. Y you're not some sort of undercover bridge inspector. This device detects structural irregularities using shortwave radar. But I don't think it will show me the real problem. Will it, Constable Wright? Look, sir, you can fix that door, but them wastrels still ain't gonna take that joy. It makes them see eyes everywhere. That's not for you to decide, is it? No, sir. The, the, the maintenance hatch is that way, sir. I, I, I'd be grateful if you forgot this conversation ever, ever happened. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. Oh, nice job, Arthur. Nice job. I don't know. We haven't had to to do anything. We haven't had to do with the with the police before, but they look so creepy. I mean, look at this face. Awkward. Oh. Okay. So we were able to lie our way in. Oh, bugger. If I really was from Central, I'd have the card, wouldn't I? Oh, no. There is another way, though, isn't there? I sure hope so. Use... Okay. This is so beautiful. Oh, no. Oh no, do we have to talk to another one? Those masks are so creepy. They look so scary. Will everything will anything happen if I search this now? I mean she's watching. Okay. Let's act like we belong here and not go through every drawer that we see. Please take a number and sit down. There's nobody else here. Please take a number and sit down. Oh wow. <laughs> okay. Bureaucracy at its finest. Number two. Now serving number two. I guess that's Welcome us. To the Who else would it be? Center. Actually, I'm just a sort of undercover bridge inspector from Central. See this device? Uh, it detects structural... It... Then you should have no trouble passing the test, should you? Please head through the door there and begin your rehabilitation. Okay. So now we have to take a test if we are happy enough or... Oh, what's this? 
A chance to begin again. To return to Hamlin Village. Please take a number and wait your turn. Head into the elevator. Rehabilitation. Place belongings in pneumatic stash. Discard old clothes. Take a nice cold shower. Put on proper decent clothes. Provided. Put on a fragrance. Pop a joy. Vanilla chocolate or strawberry. Watch an Uncle Jack video. Lucky you. Testing. Answer a simple easy quiz. If after curfew, spend the night in a cozy cottage. Retrieve belongings from the pneumatic stash. Take elevator to exit. Go forth and fret no more. Okay, so now we're going to brainwash. Okay. I'm kind of excited. <laughs> okay, this is creepy. <laughs> Kind of awkward. Please deposit your personal belongings into this box, retaining only your clothes. Okay. Please Whoa. continue to the decontamination room. These doors look very weird. Ooh. Okay, if they provide it here, I want to take it. This is good food. At least I hope so. Or is this just an illusion as well? And it's just, I don't know. Again, a dead rat or something. Oh. Hello. Please discard your clothes. Don't worry, you will be provided with new, proper clothes after decontamination. New bobby pin. Okay, I'm just gonna take a quick look through here. And then I'm gonna talk to this guy. If we can. So, hey there. Oh no, we can't talk to him. Oh, that's too bad. How long has he been down here? He doesn't look like a wastrel though. His clothes are nice. Where did he come from? It's too bad we can't talk to him. Okay, undressing room. Please discard all soiled clothes in the hamper. Okay. So now we're getting rid of our wasteful clothes. Well, if I was Percy, I'd just go promenading about, wondering why everyone was staring. I mean, never did quite grasp what's so important about wearing clothes. Hmm, okay. Please wash all beds, okay. Wind your still and wind your... mm -hmm. To make the mighty, make the mighty yet. God, to make the mighty, make the mighty yet. Congratulations, you have been decontaminated. Please proceed to the next room and obtain fresh, new, proper, clean clothes. I hope she's not watching. I'm judging. I've just gathered so many cloth scraps here, I could make some, some new outfit for myself. Oh, it's our old suit! <laughs> district on you. Please enjoy this refreshing scent of country flowers. Okay. Is that licorice? Ew. Why licorice? Get ready for the most How is this garden flowers when it smells like licorice? Please take your favorite flavor of joy. Vanilla, chocolate, or strawberry. Oh no. Okay, so this was kind of like a rebirth. Is that why the doors were so weird? Probably. Okay, so now we apparently won't get around taking joy, so let's take it. Take joy and enter the theater. Oh, I must insist that you not traverse the beams of the joy detector without taking your joy, sir. Okay. Oh. 
Ooh. Damn it! I was serious about taking my joy, wasn't I? Um. Yeah. Okay. I would love to, but where? Or is it in my pocket? Do I have some joy in my pockets? No. I do not. Tickets. Curious device. How did I keep that on me if I dropped everything? But okay. So, oh wait, we have a new... So, okay, we're just gonna read it really quick. To whomsoever opens this missive, dear fellow Wellingtonian, you are we... Uh, for are we not all still fellow citizens of Wellington Wells? Good news, God has not forsaken us. He is still with us, even amidst the rubble of these wastelands. Do not take our present suffering as a sign of his abandonment, for he tested his only son even to his mortal limit. Like Job, let us never lose faith. For there are those who turn aside from his love, who have given their faith to witchcraft or the most outlandish of vegetable idols or even demons of unspeakable shape. Do not succumb to these delusions. Where there is faith, there is redemption. And if you have lost hope in this life, then all the more should you prepare yourself for the next. Let us gather Sunday at noon on the bridge to Lot's home and make of ourselves a congregation. Yours in Christ, Reverend Charles Peter, formerly of St. George's Church. Call to religion. Do we have to go here? Is this where we can take our joy? Truth has a cost. Yeah. Okay, so this is really just a bar. Is it over there? What? What is this? Okay. Am I just... Am I blind again? Or... Do I really not see it? How can I take a joy? Is it the phone boxes? Okay, it's not a phone box. It's a mood booth. Trademark sign. Can we choose a flavor? I'd like chocolate. Oh, he takes strawberry. That's too bad. Ew. I hate artificial strawberries. <laughs> so, joy makes you happy, but take care not to take too much. The joy meter will help you track your joy experimentation. If the joy meter fills, you will overdose and suffer penalties to combat crafting and conformity until the overdose passes. I would like to keep our joy consumption as little as possible, so, but we have to do it now. Okay, as you take more joy, you will notice a memory loss counter over on the joy meter. This counter tracks your memory loss from taking joy too many times. When this meter is full, you will crash and suffer severe penalties. For this reason, you should use joy tactically and only when necessary. Yeah, that's exactly what I intend to. Oh! With life for noise, pop a joy. Hello, Constable Bacon. Constable Woolner. Did, did, did he always have that name? I don't know. Oh, we even Please walk head different. Into the and take a seat. What is this? This room is for showing Uncle Jack only. It is not for other activities. Use the cozy cottages if you must. I am tired, though. Okay, this is all empty. Well, let's sit down and. Watch Excellent. a video. Sit tight and enjoy the show. And now it's time for the Uncle Jack Etiquette Minute. You may be wondering, how can I fit in better in Hamlin Village? Well, it's easy. To get along, go along. If someone tells you it's a lovely day, agree with them. <laughs> because of course, it's always a lovely day in Hamlin Village. So don't be afraid of talking to people first. They'll appreciate it. Now, I'm assuming, of course, that you're decently dressed. Eh? Clothes make the man, eh? Indeed, naked people have almost no influence at all in society. <laughs> and don't dress in rags either, or people might think you're a wastrel. Now, what should you do if people are staring at you? Maybe they're asking you if you remember to take your joy. Who cares? Just pop another, and they'll congratulate you and go on about their day. And if things seem to be getting a bit hectic, remember, you can always sit on a bench 
relax and open the Hamlin or Quran. Take a load off. No one will bother you when you're sitting on a bench. Unless you've made them very angry. Well, <laughs> or, I don't know, watch Jack Worthing on television. I, he's very good. <laughs> well, I'm afraid we've come to the end of our time. Tune in tomorrow for another Etiquette Minute with Jack Worthing. That's me. Isn't Uncle Jack wonderful? Now, please proceed to the third floor, where you will be tested on what you've just relearned. So that was Uncle Jack. Now we watched an episode two. And so this was kind of like the introduction how to act in the more civilized and joy-taking world. I think it's funny that we walk different when we're taking joy. <laughs> it's also kind of scary. Comes into effect really fast. Bringing joy to the world since 1953. Limit joy to once per hour. Okay. Okay. Just a friendly reminder. Uncle Jack don't mention it, but a word to the wise. Proper decent people don't like people what is running, jumping, crouching, spying, sneaking, breaking or entering. Such like behaviours is what we associate with downers. Avoid them and we shan't have disagreements. Okay, so our environment in the in the village reacts to how we're walking as well so we shouldn't be so we won't be able to crouch around all the time okay i'm really excited to find it out so this is the testing <sighs> welcome 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 it's time to play oh behave the game where you show that you're ready to come back to hamlin village and behave like a proper decent citizen Oh, for heaven's sake, they can't be serious. Are you ready to behave? Now, our five guest questioners are going to ask you one question each. All you have to do is show us that you understand how to behave yourself in Wellington Wells. Mr. Cashier, what question do you have for our prodigal son or daughter? Lionel Cashier. Glad he's still around. If you want to fit in, you should. A. Say hello to everyone you meet, like what you do. B. Visit people's houses, whether they're there or not. See the eyes, the eyes. Okay, so this sounds like this sounds like E. It sounds like question answer A. Yes, that's right. It never hurts to say hello to people. Player two, I'm afraid the eyes, the eyes was not the right answer. Oh no, he was a downer. What would you like to know? If you realise you're wearing rags, should you A. Pop a joy. B. Put on proper clothes for God's sake. And why not pop a joy? C. Why does everything have eyes? Okay, so I guess it's. I guess we take the full package clothes plus joy. That's right, player one. Just popping a joy is not always enough. We do have standards, you know. Thought so. Player two. I'm afraid everything does not actually have eyes. Oh no. Jack Constable. Constable, Constable. Your question. Right. Well, here's my interrogative. If I see you running, jumping about, or crouching in the shadows, what will I likely do? A. Tell you to stop your rotten shenanigans before I smash you in the face. B. Run and jump and play myself. See? Oh god, the eyes. Okay, so the only logical answer would be A. Uh, I'm really scared of what will happen to him, though. That's exactly right. If you need to get somewhere, don't lurk about like a rotten downer, or run like you're fleeing the scene, or jump about. No need to be in a hurry in Hamlin Village. Player two, do try to pay attention. We want you to succeed. Mrs. Sackville, your question, please. 
If you want to make friends with me, should you A. Give me flowers, B. Talk about old times, C. Stop staring at me, why is everything staring? Okay, so you definitely shouldn't talk about the old times and staring is definitely the downer answer. So it'll be A again. Oh no! Oh dear, no, player one. That's not the answer oh no. we're looking for. Oh no, I was oh too dear. slow. It looks like the eyes have you both, as they say. Oh no. How disappointing. Oh no. Remember, I didn't want to. doctors are here to help you. If you've forgotten your joy, doctors will smell it right away. And they'll give you a quick injection to make your day a lovely one. Dr. Byron, what is your question? What happens when you take too much joy? A. You can't find your own house. B. Who cares? C. Please, God, make them stop staring. I'm gonna go with who cares. And quick this time. Oh, there's a timer up there. Oh, okay. <laughs> you might lose a few hours, but sooner or later, you'll find yourself on a bench. No worse for the wear. Oh, player two. Today is just not your day, is it? But you can always come back for a seventh try. And that concludes this episode of Oh Behave. I hope you made it to the village. If you didn't, remember, we're always happy to give you another shot. If you're willing to behave like a decent citizen. Of course we are. Here in Hamlin Village, we're always happy. Well, that's all right. Okay. Welcome, welcome, welcome. What? It's time to play Oh Behave. What's happening here? where you show that you're ready to come back to Hamlin Village and behave like a proper citizen. Why can't I citizen. go? What the hell? Help. Oh, I passed yeah. the test. Oh, for heaven's sake, I'm not going to do this again. How do I get out of here? Are you ready to behave? Now, our five guest questioners are going to ask you one question each. All you have to do is show us that you understand oh, no. how to behave yourself in Wellington Wells. Mr. Cashier, what question do you have for our prodigal son or daughter? Okay. If you want to fit in, you should. Hey! Say hello to everyone you meet. Oh no, there. I don't B. want to sit down. Oh. Visit people's houses, whether they're there okay. or not. That's C. Weird. The eyes, the eyes. Okay, I'm gonna craft real quick. Jimmy Bar. Yes. Okay, we're done. No. Okay. Okay, so this one is so the other one for the seventh try. He just wasn't able to get out again. Is he like doomed to participate in this quiz forever? Okay. Ugh. Okay, creepy. So, we actually made it. We passed our test to be a proper citizen. We should be allowed inside. Where are we now? Oh! Okay, this just turns on the light. So, let's take off everything. Can we take back everything? It would be nice. Oh no, we don't need to take everything. So, I'm just gonna um, do a quick re-inventorying. So, yeah. This looks like a good place to stop. We are outside again. Oh, we're in those cozy cottages where we can take a rest. So. I'll also probably take a quick nap because this bed looks this bed looks really nice. Although I don't know, maybe I should leave here fast because our joy could wear off. Okay. Anyway, I'm just gonna go with. I'm just gonna do a quick um, redoing our inventory, restoring our inventory to the way it was before. 
then we will continue and leave again. But that we're going to do the next episode. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.